Google loves having lots of fancy machine learning tools to help roll out changes in your accounts. So much so that they keep developing tools so that they can actually make changes for you in those accounts. Now, if you've noticed any hint of sarcasm coming from me, it's because I pretty much never want Google to make a change in an account for me. First, this is my full-time job. I have plenty of time to learn how the Google Ads platform works, what the tools do, and to implement the changes for my clients. The second reason is because my client accounts don't always line up with the same objectives that Google has. A lot of those machine learning automation tools end up optimizing for Google's KPIs, not for my clients. So in this video, I want to walk you through the different types of Google Ads automated suggestions and show you how to turn them off if you'd wish to do so. This Pay Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Pay Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. In this video, I want to talk about two types of automatic suggestions and assets from Google Ads. The first is going to be auto applied suggestions. I've jumped into one of our client accounts and right off the bat, you can see up here on the right that they have suggestions for what you should be doing to the campaigns. They want us to add broad match keywords. They also have a couple other suggestions here. So even on this main tab, they're already giving you their recommendations, but the main place that we'll view all these is actually going to be up over here in the recommendations tab. Now here you can see a few different things. So first it's going to be this optimization score meter here, and then down below are going to be all the suggestions that Google has. So earlier I mentioned that many of these suggestions and recommendations from Google have to do with their own KPIs. And this optimization score is pretty much how they get there. Right now, this account has a 55 ish percent optimization score, which would be pretty bad if you were trying to optimize for this metric, but let's start to take some of these suggestions into account. I'm going to try and avoid any of the cards that we need to blur out just to make this video editing easier. So let's head over to bidding and budgets. Here we have two cards with suggestions from Google. The first is that we should raise our budgets. Who would have thought we would get 4% more in our optimization score, and we can incur up to 13,000 more dollars a week in spend for this account. Now this account does spend quite a lot, but obviously a recommendation to increase budget is going to be in Google's best interest. So even though your optimization score might bump up to 59, almost 60, you might then go over budget. So automatically opting into these optimizations where Google would simply increase your budget to the amount that it wants doesn't seem like a good move. The second suggestion they have is to use maximize conversions with a target CPA. And this could make a lot of sense because you could see better performance here. We don't see any percentage increases on the cards, which is a little interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if it does go up if you make some of those changes, but this also leans into Google wanting to have more and more control of the campaigns for you. And it uses machine learning because it is using that smart bidding strategy of target CPA. So the budget piece, probably not your best move. If you're up against your budget constraints, target CPA, that's 50, 50. It might work better. It might not. But in this example, I would rather set up a bidding experiment to see if the target CPA performs better than my existing bidding strategy, rather than letting Google roll them out for me. Now I'm not saying every recommendation Google has for you is only in Google's best interest. Some of them can be in yours. Let's jump over to the measurement tab. And here we have three suggestions. Each one of them would increase our optimization score. First, they want us to measure values with our conversions. Right now we're not doing that, but this is an ongoing discussion we're having with the client that we might want to start putting values associated with each of the different lead generation actions so we can optimize to a makeshift ROI or ROAS in the account. So again, this is a good suggestion, something to think about, but I don't want Google to roll it out for me. Same with setting up enhanced conversions. I would want to make sure that we put this all together, have all the details here, but again, we could get five whole extra percentage points on our optimization score and then fixing your Google tag. Easy. This is something that we should do, but we can't have Google do this for us. We're going to have to do it ourselves. So I went through each of those to show you that yes, 
Google does have some suggestions that are self-serving, but there are some that are useful. The main takeaway here is that you probably want to make sure that you're reviewing them on your own and not having Google just roll out these changes for you. Most of the ones that we reviewed here are pretty benign simply because I didn't want to have to blur out keywords or ads or anything like that. But if we start getting into keywords and targeting, ads and assets, they're going to start adding keywords, removing keywords, adding broad match versions, and then writing new ads and assets for us. Not always in the best interest of the account. So to control which of these recommendations Google can apply automatically for your account, we need to come up here to the auto apply icon, click on it, and then you'll see there are two different categories, maintain your ads and grow your business. Google gives you a very convenient select all button up here at the top, but then you can see that there are nine recommendations in maintain your ads, which are going to include using optimized ad rotation, adding responsive search ads, improving your responsive search ads, which means creating a new ad for you and writing in individual headlines and descriptions for you. And then again, all of these different keywords and targeting adjustments, whether they're adding or removing keywords, removing conflicting negative keywords, and opting you into optimized targeting for the relevant campaigns. If you're not entirely sure what optimized targeting means, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But as a spoiler, we're not totally on board with it. The next category is around growing your business. There are 14 recommendations here, and these are all going to be geared toward getting more volume. So again, we add new keywords, we add broad match keywords, we use display expansion. And then for bidding, we have all of these different bidding types and strategies that we can use for the campaigns. The part that I find really annoying and weird is that they even have an option so they can set your target CPA or ROAS and then adjust your CPA and ROAS for you. How convenient. In some accounts, these might work out really well, but quite frankly, if I'm gonna use target CPA and target ROAS, that's for a reason, and I really wanna manage that myself. As you can tell, all of the boxes next to these are unchecked because we don't have any active in this account. But if you did want to opt into any or all of these suggestions, you can just check the box next to it, and then it will automatically start using optimized ad rotation for all of your campaigns or whichever box you check. I'm gonna uncheck that pretty quickly because I really don't want that to take. Now, in my experience, there are some accounts that by default have all of these unchecked and some have a lot of them checked. So if you haven't reviewed this setting, please come in here and see how many of these auto apply suggestions you have active in your account. And then if you wanna see any of the changes that have been made on behalf of these auto applied suggestions, you can come up here next to manage and go to history and you will see a list of all of the different recommendations, the status, category, and all of the different applications that have happened from these auto applied recommendations. That's all for the auto apply recommendations, but there is one other type of automatically enabled changes in your account that I wanna talk about, and that's automatically created assets. These are almost a subset of the auto applied suggestions around improving your responsive search ads, but it lives in a completely different setting. So let's run through that real quick. The automatically created assets don't live in this recommendations tab. They actually live at the campaign level. So these are gonna be different because they are campaign to campaign. You can turn them on or off for any individual campaign you want. So let's head over just to the campaigns tab. Now from here, we need to navigate to campaign settings. We can do that in a couple different ways. We can go up to settings right here and it will show us all of the different settings for each campaign. Or my new favorite way is if you hover over the campaign name, this little gear icon will pop up. If you click on that, it'll open up the settings in this smaller window off to the right. Automatically created assets is going to be most of the way down. You just need to open this box up here. And if we scroll down just a touch, you can see that what this does is allows Google to help you generate headlines and descriptions for your ads by using content from your landing pages, domains, and ads. There are some additional tools that Google will let you use to customize these assets based on the relevance to your keywords. And by default, this setting is going to be off. I'm a big fan of this. You can opt into it if you want to test it for a specific campaign or group of campaigns. But by default, this setting is going to be off and use only the assets that you as the advertiser provide for your ads. I'm not gonna go too far in depth on this one because it is a different beast. We have another video that walks you through these that you can check out at the top of the screen right now to get an understanding of what these are, how these work, and where you would see the automatically created assets and their performance in your account. 
overall, it's in Google's best interest to provide you tools that help you see better performance. So you'll continue advertising on the platform. But in my experience, there are a few different ways that Google tries to do these types of changes for you that can really just miss the mark and optimize for Google's objectives and not quite as close to your own objectives. Whether it's automatically created assets or any of the auto apply recommendations, I highly suggest that you review heavily ahead of time, set up limited tests where you can, and only opt into automated changes by Google for your account if you're very confident in them. And even then, make sure that you're checking on them regularly so that they're optimizing toward the goals that you want. If you have any additional questions about the automatically created assets, auto apply recommendations, or anything else in the Google Ads platform, drop us a note in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.